Hey friends, I have another alphabet book, and this is The Alphabet Tree by Leo Leone. He is a legend. He has written so many wonderful books. Do you remember Swimming about the fish? Well, this is the same author, Leo Leone. I want to hear about The Alphabet Tree. Could you imagine finding one of those? This is the alphabet tree, said the ant. Why is it called the alphabet tree? asked his friend. Because not so long ago, this tree was full of letters. They lived a happy life, hopping from leaf to leaf on the highest twig. Isn't there all those little letters there? Each letter had its favorite leaf, where it would sit in the sun and rock in the gentle breeze of spring. See my favorite letter to you. One day, the breeze became a strong gust, and the gust became a gale. Oh, that's pretty strong. Right? The letters clung to the leaves with all their might, but some were blown away, and the others were very frightened. When the storm had passed, they huddled together in fear, deep in the foliage of the lower branches. A funny bug, red and black with bright yellow wings, saw them there, hiding in the shade. We're hiding from the wind, the letters explained. But who are you? I'm the word bug, the bug answered. I could teach you to make words. If you get together in threes and fours and even more, no wind will be strong enough to blow you away. Patiently, he taught the letters to join together and make some words. Oh, I want to see what they've got here. Oh, look. We know that word is cat and bug, leaf. Oh, that's perfect. It's on a leaf. Tree, even. M E is me. You know that. Some made short and easy words like dog and cat. Others learned to make more difficult ones like twig, leaf, and even earth. Look, there's earth right there. Happily, they climbed back onto the highest leaves, and when the wind came, they held on without fear. The word bug had been right. Look, they even made the word wind. What a smart idea. Then, one summer morning, a strange caterpillar appeared amid the foliage. He was purple, woolly, and very large. Such confusion, said the caterpillar when he saw the words scattered around the leaves. Why don't you get together and make sentences and mean something? The letters had never thought of this. Now they could really write, say things. They said things about the wind, the leaves, the bug. Good, said the caterpillar approvingly, but not good enough. Why, asked the letters, surprised. Because you must say something important. Because look, all they've got are the wind is bad, leaves are green, the bug is small. Let's see what they think is important. The letters tried to think of something important, really important. Finally, they knew what to say. What could be more important than peace? Peace on earth and goodwill toward all men, they spelled excitedly. Great, said the caterpillar. Now climb onto my back. One by one, the letters climbed onto the woolly back. But where are you taking us? They asked anxiously as the caterpillar began climbing down the tree. To the president, said the caterpillar. <laughs> Peace. Oh, I like that. That is fun. Oh, wow, look at this. So here's an idea to make a fish and frog collage. So you need a big piece of paper and some different cutouts. Oh, that would be really cute. You can make an art project after that. Oh, I really like this. Maybe I should send it to the president. What do you think? <laughs> Have a great day.